Hello, Level Engine is back for yet another Let's Play. I'm going to do two more of these. Well, this ROM hack right now and then another. And then, okay, I'm hoping that the ninth VLC DC gets released soon because I'm trying to time it so that that's my 200th Let's Play. You can go and see the list in the link below. I'm going to put a link to my post on Sumo Rod Central. I've listed every single hack I've Let's Played up to this point. Not counting contest entries, but you get the idea. So far, we are on episode 198. And just so you know, I'm using ZSNES. Pro tip to all, if you want to play a Japanese hack, use ZSNES. I saw a video this months ago, maybe even a year ago, of a ROM hack, a Japanese hack known as Mob Mario. Yes, Mob Mario, as in a mob boss. The guy would be eating linguine and like... Okay, that sounds kind of discriminatory towards Italians, but hey. So yeah, mobsters. They hunt people down, they're rich. You know, anyway. So I was gonna say, use CSNES when you want to play a Japanese hack for the sake of some of their music tracks still not being compatible with more accurate emulators like ZMZ, like those hacks would crash on those, and they wouldn't work on a real SNES for that reason. Even though ZSNES has been dying off in favor of SA1 and because we found an exploit with ZSNES that allowed- Wow, that's a nice rip of whatever island that is. I'm guessing that's an island somewhere near Japan, right? That makes sense. And the fact that ZSNES has an exploit that allows it to execute code on the user's machine. Which could be really bad if the right if the wrong person figures out about it. So let's play the first level, because I don't know what it's named. There's no music. Oh there it is. I remember there being some really cool gimmicks in this hack, but maybe we have to play on further. I mean, so far it looks ordinary and it looks nice. Not exactly what I was expecting from a Japanese hack, but I'll take it. Considering one of the last Japanese hacks I played was something like Hackery Adventure Mission 2. And now I remember how that looked. Oh yay, let's just mass produce the coins. Try to. <laughs> I was wondering how long I was gonna be able to keep doing that for. But then again, that would just be a waste of your time. So this level one is like a bunch of the others. Can't say much. Can't say much else at this point. I've seen this like a dozen times, but uh, way more than that. I've seen this so many times already. Easy level ones. Like, I mean, it's supposed to be that way. Level one shouldn't just start you over a pit where you die or something like that, so yeah. I shouldn't be complaining. Uh oh, I want my power back. Castle. So I touch and then. Oh, all of a sudden the screen shakes. What's the crazy stuff gonna begin? Because I'm more fond of the Japanese hacks using ASM more than anything else. Well, mainly like because Brutal Mario is one of the best examples. And its strong point is for sure ASM and the custom bosses that he and Carol made with the assembly language. Keep in mind that was back in 2008 as well, so yeah. What's down here? Side of Spiny. One up! I don't need. Or I probably won't need. The hack stays this difficulty. Which probably won't. I have no idea where this music track's from, but it sounds really cool. 
Japanese game, I can imagine. But I have no idea. Now then. Another castle. Do I have to kill the Chucks? Just to... Get to the next screen? Yes, I do. But even then, it's not too hard. Wait, why am I bothering to read the message boxes in a Japanese hack? I should know better. Level 2! Which... I guess Kirby. The graphics seem to be pretty strong here. And now we get a water level. It's always nice to just look at these kinds of levels. Nice water swimming. I doubt I doubt you could find many natural lakes because I'm pretty sure most of them. Rivers of lake these days are probably polluted. God damn it, humanity! I mean, Mario just lives in a really different world from the rest of us. He's outside way more often than I am. purpose in life can be a little saddening to die over and over again in some unfairly hard hack. I mean, when you look at Kaizo hacks anyway, it can be saddening. Mario's life purpose would be just to die over and over again for real and people's amusement. Okay, maybe I'd rather not be living Mario's life sometimes. Man, this looks really nice. graphics here with those rocks in the background and the other water portion. In fact, you can actually play this level in two different ways. You could actually just swim under it or just stay up. And stay up above. Okay, maybe you do have to go underwater. I was gonna say that just staying out of the water and just staying above it would have been a lot faster, but you kind of actually do have to go in the water here. I mean, this is just gonna be slower, but... from a Japanese hack. But I like it. Keep it up. Keep doing it. It's good. Wait, we have this much time? Oh, there's a midpoint. Not too worried about the low being too long. I just only noticed now that we have 700 odd seconds to beat the level. I can only assure you that we're not going to need nearly that much time. I'm hoping we don't. Did. It wouldn't be the record for the longest, the biggest timer that I've ran through, still. That flower is actually off Okay, that fire flower, when you hit this block, it's actually partially off screen. Well, you don't want to put the block one block lower, because then it would actually cut off with the background here. I find it kind of weird that flowers off screen. I mean, I can still see it, but I only see like the bottom part of it. Even though I don't even need it. Is this thing gonna have secret exits? Am I gonna have to go looking for a bunch of secret exits again? And let's go in the pipe before these goombas kill themselves. That'll be horrible. Man, this is a pretty big level two. The difficulty's right, but this is pretty big for level two. They don't last this long. How much time do we start with? Did we start with 999 seconds? So then I think we're in the middle of a pretty long level 2 now. And lag is not good. Yeah, I haven't seen a level 2 this big in a long time. At least the level looks nice and it's reasonable. Okay, lag stopping. And we 
are still trying to beat the level. I can go one of two ways. I'll just do that. Yep, more level. This one's huge. If you're a fan of huge levels this early on, then I guess Mob Mario's the game for you. Oh, seriously, this is ridiculously long for level two. Flying fish! I'm equipped for them. And silent bullet bills. I'm equipped for them also, but it's not something you should do. Even then the fish are silent. But why do people not complain about the flying fish being silent? Maybe because the bullets are more sudden. Because they literally just appear out of thin air. And these, these things come from the bottom of the screen. Uh oh. I think it was probably a bad idea to jump in the... Okay, it wasn't. I can still clear the level. Okay. This level's been going on for so long that it's actually starting to get dark. And now we're done. It's actually the sun's actually starting to set. We've been in this level for so long. Yep, we started with the max time. So yeah, that was a huge level too. Level three. Wait, where's my cape? Oh, I must have gotten hit by one of the fish and lost it. Okay, this is a pretty loud part. I really, I, okay, I like that cascade, giant cascading waterfall. Looks awesome. Are we like in front of one giant waterfall? Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty epic scenery. A ruined castle in front of a giant cascading waterfall. That would have to look awesome. So, don't, you can't deny it. I don't even really need that block, but thank you. Oh, there's a cave. Except it still takes time to get down here. Maybe I just hit these blocks all the time, just thinking maybe in vain that one day one of the messages will be in English for some reason, but it shouldn't be. I mean, I've had a few foreign hacks that suddenly had some messages in English. Or maybe just one. But yeah. It's still possible. Oh, I found the green switch. I didn't even have to try. Wait, what? Okay. I literally just got pushed out of the level and put back on the overworld map by this water current. So I have to jump as soon as I start the level or I just get placed outside of it. At least I don't die. That could have been a lot worse. I could have been dead. So every time you come out of a pipe or just go into a new sub-level, you have to know to jump instinctively so you get whisked out of the level by a water current that pulls pushes you super fast. And then you can get the green switch. Now that's weird. Okay, maybe you want to get pushed away by that second water current just so you can get a bunch of coins and lives, but I don't need them. Now then, let's continue. Fine. Are we gonna go inside the castle? Okay, looks like we're inside, but there's still that cascading waterfall that I like so much. Makes me feel like just using this as a background for one of my levels now. Just one giant cascading waterfall. Nothing else. Don't need new mushroom. Swiss you away! Put you on the top of your owner's library. You have to be attacking, right? Oh, what is that? Besides, uh, piranha plant that shoots spot. Oh wow, I didn't jump despite the fact that I pressed the jump button and I still survived. So that thing just shoots spinies. Does that little thing shoot spinies too, or is it just part of the scenery? Okay, I can assume you don't want to touch it, but it's out of reach and I probably won't even have to worry about hitting it. Alright, I see some Japanese text to my lower right. My lower left, anyway. I get directions confused sometimes. I see it to my lower left! Oh, I don't know what it means. So let's just get the midpoint. And this guy apparently doesn't die to... Wait, what is that up there? 
looks like a Mario doll with a glowing one up around it. And now I can't read because I don't have a K. Or is that a three up thing? Whatever it is, I can't reach it. Wish I had telekinetic grab so I could take it because I can see it, but I can't reach it. But then again, I need like some air runes and a law room. Or even if I had a staff of air, then I wouldn't need the air runes. Go up, go up. Of course, you need to clear these blocks out of the way and then ideally land back on the springboard and just not lose time. Yay, one up, then I don't need it. I don't think I need it. Unless the game just throws a giant curveball. It, it, it could, it could. I can't say that that hasn't happened before. Alright, Dragon Coin. We'll just leave, leave it behind. Yay, Feather! Okay, this thing does die to Feathers. I guess one of them was somehow immune or just got lucky. Okay. I don't need infinite lives. But I found a place to get them. Uh, I typically don't see that that much these days. Not even the harder hacks. Well, I mean, jump had life arms, but... They actually had designated areas where you could get the life arms, where it was pretty obvious that it was meant to be a life arm. It was built with that in mind. I wish Yoshi's Strange Quest would have the same sort of thing. I wonder where we are now. I think we must be at the top of this waterfall or something. I feel like we're at the top of the waterfall. And I feel like there might be a custom boss waiting. I see all these vines, there's gotta be a reason for that. So just clear our way through and clear our way through some blocks, kill a Koopa. Yeah, Mario can be violent sometimes, a lot of enemies have died because of him. By this point, you would think Mario was a mass murderer. Well, let's jump down and fight a boss. Or just fall down, actually. And dodge some bombs while we're at it. Just spin the cave and hope we don't get hit. Alright, Mario is definitely going to go dizzy by the time he hits the ground. Or the water, so to speak. I'm surprised Mario can still move properly after all that spinning! Yeah, Mario is not human. He is far more. Well, he once was human. But now he's far more. Level 4! Oh wait, these are spikes, right? If so, then I almost jumped into them. What are they standing on? Okay, so now we're on a train. Again, this is something we don't see often in ROM hacks. This is just something we don't see often ever in platformers. I mean, these look like spikes, but they're not. I mean... It even looks like a reddish color on top of whatever these are. I thought that maybe could have been spikes with blood, but no. It's a hand railing! Here I was trying to avoid the fucking hand railings. Like they were dangerous. Ooh! Money! And here I am trying to just avoid hand railings. When's the last time you ever touched a hand railing and your hand just got disintegrated? That would be never. So this level's gonna be a lot easier now. I don't have to worry about the hand railings killing me. Next thing you know, I'm gonna jinx 
accident, someone's actually going to make a joke out of this and make a level, send it to me where the hand railings will kill you. Ladders? That's nonsense! Alright, that's probably a whole- Ooh, bullet bills! Ooh, I still have a cape, so I'm not worried. <laughs> oh, man. Not like a good workout from Mario. Okay. I feel like the thin air just hit me. Oh, crap. Good thing I had that block. That block gave its own life to save mine. Oh, there's just bullets everywhere. And if I jump at the wrong time, I'm dead because one can just spawn wherever it feels like. 